Well, welcome back, Lexi's Leukemia Warrior family. Just me today, and it's time for a life update. So I thought I would show you all, this one has fallen off, how I take off my gel nails and also give you a little bit of a life update. So I use the uh, Kiss acrylic natural ones and then I paint gel over the top. If I want to try to salvage these, which you can, um, it's very easy to do. Sometimes they will pop off and you can just glue them back on. I use Kisses brush on glue. Um, if they've been stuck on there pretty good, like the pinkies have been on there the higher, entire time, I will use cuticle oil to pop them off. But the first thing that I do is take a cuticle pusher and see if the gel itself is wanting to peel off the top because since it's not my natural nail, I can try to peel the gel off without damaging my natural nail. So, and this one actually is. So look at that. It will just peel off and reveal the kiss nail underneath. So, um, to give you guys a life update, um, we have had a lot going on since our last vacation. So after we got back from that vacation, uh, it was a whirlwind because we had Mother's Day and then Father's Day and then, ta -da, hold on. After that, uh, my husband's birthday, Lexi's dad's birthday was on the 26th. This one has a lot of buildup of the nail glue, so I think I'm just gonna have to take it off and then try to get the polish off of it. Um, so, Sometimes they just come off like that, and then I'll try and see if I can just get the thing under it like this, and then it just peels off. And then what I do with these is because there is a buildup of nail glue underneath, I have a little um, jar of polish remover to soak the nails in, so that way any of the gunk can come off if I want to reuse them. But anyway, so after um, Father's Day, it was time for my husband's birthday. And why he made this, ooh, that one just popped off too. <laughs> why he made this vet appointment on his birthday, I don't know. But our dog, Sally, our beagle, if you've seen her in the videos, um, she has been declining slowly. She's on lots of medication. She's old, she's like 12 or 13. We got her before we got married and we got her and like my husband had her before we got married and we got married in 2012. So um, yeah. basically, all I've got is this little piece left. Let's see if that will come off or not. So when I say she's old, she's you know, she's old. And beagles are prone to getting really bad um, arthritis. And then whatever doesn't come off usually will soak off in the polish remover. So she is very old. And then if there's any glue still left on my nail, I usually just file it down there's any glue sitting on top of my nail until I'm ready to put on the next ones because I'll usually just take a break and let my nails have a chance so I won't put any more nails on until we go on vacation at the end of July but anyway so Sally was on arthritis medication their floating knees in the back are really bad for arthritis 
So she was on carprofen, which is an anti-inflammatory that you have to have blood work a couple times a year to make sure that it's not messing up your liver enzymes or whatever else for your dog. She was also on tramadol twice a day to help with pain and stiffness in the joints. Um, she took half of an osteo biflex, which is like glucosamine chondritin supplement for humans. She took half of a tablet of those once a day. And then she also, um, recently we had added in at her last appointment, gabapentin, just to help with extra stiffness and neuropathy. And despite all those, she's just really stiff and slow to get up. So on his birthday, oh, that one, see, that one came right off. He came to the conclusion that she needed her appointment and he had scheduled it on his birthday because that was his day off. And that's just when they had availability. So he did it. I'm just going to put a little bit of cuticle oil right there. And then that should um, loosen up the glue. Like see how it's loosening up the glue. Because you don't wanna just like rip this off cause that would ruin your nail. <laughs> that glue actually sticks really well, see? And then it just kinda pops right off. And then you've got all that glue on there. So you just kind of Put them all in there to soak. So he took um, Sally to the vet. And basically the vet was like, yeah, she's just getting old. I'll give you a paper on hospice care to know what to look out for. Like when it's getting bad enough that, oh, that one popped way off. <laughs> When it's getting bad enough that you know that she needs to cross the rainbow bridge. She goes, but I'm also feeling a large mass in her stomach that I am 90% sure is cancer. She was like 90 to 95% sure. So at this point, she said, it's in the best interest for Sally if we just put her down. Um, I just wanted to be transparent because you all see her on the video sometimes. If we're filming more towards the ground, like if Lexi's playing or at Christmas, we don't want to specifically film about our dogs, but they're a part of our life. And I just didn't want you guys to start seeing some of the videos. And Sally is no longer in them. We still have our dog, Katie. Um, it's very upsetting. Lexi will not be watching this video. Um, it really bothers her to talk about it. She knows more than what we realize. She's going to be in third grade. She also, like, we've been trying to, like, soften the blow a little bit by saying, well, now you'll at least be able, you know, if there's a silver lining, Sally's not going to have any pain. She's going to be in doggy heaven. And she'll be up there with Nana Judy, sitting in Nana Judy's lap. And then eventually now you'll be able to start looking about and thinking about getting a cat. But now the thought of getting a cat makes her sad because she knows that that means that Sally had to pass away for her to be able to get a cat. Because we knew Sally would not like a cat and we didn't want to disrupt her in her last couple years of life. So it's been a journey to say the least. So that side is all done. I'll probably need to buff off a little bit of some glue, but basically I'm trying to get, if you can get your cuticle pusher under there, it just kind of, then it will peel off. And then again, once I have it all peeled off for all of them, then I can use the cuticle oil to kind of soak them off my nail because you don't just want to rip that glue like and they're peeling off in a whole thing which is kind of nice so it's coming off all at once got to figure out what my nails are going to be for vacation so beyond that we also have Lexi's next 
oncology appointment coming up in the fall to see where things are at. And she is due for another neuropsych evaluation because the last one she had was going into kindergarten. And they did say um, when they start to see deficits is usually, if they're gonna see any, it's third grade. And so like cognitively, and she's getting ready to start third grade. Oh, that one popped my whole pinky off. <laughs> so um, we just need to uh, have that done. So we know what to look out for, for her third grade teacher in the fall. That one's actually not too bad. So now all I have to do is use some cuticle oil brush this right on and you kind of just let it soak for a second and then try to lift up like one section of the nail if you can like that and then once you've lifted it up that cuticle oil will kind of seep down in there and it'll soften the rest of the glue and then you just go really slow then it just kind of pops right off. I think, yeah, this one's got a chunk of glue. I'll see if I can buff that off real quick. Yep, there we are. So just a little bit of cuticle oil. And this is also good for your cuticles too, to get some cuticle oil. So not a bad process. And some of these are about ready to pop off because you're not really supposed to use that glue for a long time. So anyway, we've got that going on. And then we have uh, Lexi's braces appointment coming up too. They're thinking that she will most likely need braces. We're gonna be extra careful because of all the chemo she had messing uh, with her teeth. So we gotta be extra careful there. Keep an eye on things. So all my nails are in here soaking still. All right, and I got one nail left to get off. That's it. Okay. So see, this is a quick process. Like I'm not hoping to make any edits to this video and so far with my little intro and everything, it's only been at 12 minutes. So you can get these nails off pretty quick. And also I've been talking in between. So I'm gonna let that sit there and soak in for a minute to the glue. Mm. And sometimes like that they rip and you can't reuse them cause like it was really stuck on at the cuticle, which is a good thing. So when it rips like that, I just toss it. And sometimes if they're dirty enough or the glue is just really stubborn, I'll just do a fresh set of nails. Or if I'm only doing like a quick nail for like a, for something important. And then I'm gonna be taking them right off. You can usually salvage those pretty easy because the glue isn't on there as hard. So I'm just, filing that down, that last little piece that was like really stuck on there. That's why I swear by this glue, it lasts. So once you file it down, and there's some glue on this pinky too. You don't wanna like file down your actual nail. You're just trying to get the uh, glue off. Like see how that has like some glue on it. 
So I'm just using the step two medium side of the sander. Yeah. A little bit of glue on this one. Beautiful. I think that's, oh, got some on my thumb yet. And see, the, it'll come off in like chunks. And that's it. All right. So anyway, uh, keep us all in your prayers. Um, we know this is the best thing for our dog. She has lived a super happy and full life. Um, and we know she needs to be pain free. They said basically that the tumor, the large tumor in her stomach could burst at any time and she could go quickly. So she said um, her recommendation would be to spend our last uh, couple weeks with her and then bring her in at the end of the month and they can either do it here at the house or at the vet's office. But we didn't really want that memory here at the house and Lexi will not be there. She will be at her grandpa's house, so we are going to take her to the vet. So, anyway, that's what's going on at our house. Um, sorry to put out a damper of a video. I just didn't feel like it would be right to not say anything when you're not going to see her in the videos anymore. So, I knew we would get some questions. Um, but anyway, my nails are done. And no worse for the wear. And then I'll probably just file them down so they're all like a nice little shape instead of just all raggedy. But beyond that, we're good to go. So thank you so much for watching. And as Lexi always says, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload another video. Bye.